Hello elites and welcome back to Minecraft Elite vs Wild. This is episode 150 and in this episode today, as you can see by the title, we're making a flower shop here in this beautiful blue building. Um, we're in this lobby, the first floor of this building right here, of a building complex called the Rotlu Center. Uh, and if that's backwards, that's uh, Old Tor Center, which is a governmental building, but not like, exactly like Old Tor. This is a cute little like lobby area here. We're gonna go up to the second floor, and when you enter the second floor, you're gonna see a flower shop. This is where the flower shop is gonna be located on the second floor of the Rotlu Center Blue Tower. So the first thing we're gonna do is break open these windows because I want, I just want really nice sea air to come in for the workers and shit. Cause you know, why not have that? So we're gonna go ahead and place these cups on walls now, so people don't just jump out. You know, um, yeah, you know, you get a good breeze to come in here. See, mm, smell that. That smells great. All right, and um, let's see what else. We're gonna make the uh, register area now. So when you come in, you're like, can I get a bouquet of flowers, all roses? Can I get six of them? Like, you know, yeah, it's fine. That'll be one hundred and forty-nine dollars. Like, you know, basically. So let's make this register out of dark oak stairs, and we're gonna go as far as this wall here. Now uh, let's use dark oak planks. And we're gonna go not in this corner, but maybe right here, so we don't cover up the glass, so you can see through. I'll we'll go like that, and continue this this way. And we'll figure out how to make the entrance for this in a second. Just right now, we need to figure out how to make this look nice. So now let's go across with the stairs like this. There we go. All right, and now the doorway should be made out of the dark oak door, because this is this is all expensive. Dark oak, dark oak is expensive. So there we go, and we're going to build upwards here with the block um, here. Oops, there you go, and let's get rid of the block here. There we go, look at that, it looks pretty nice. Um, let's, no, I was going to put a slab there, but I think we're good. Let's go ahead and put some torches in here to make it a little bit more lit up, because the wood just looks really dark. I'm going to come in here now, and... Um, so yes, you know, the person is ordering and they're like, okay, yes, I, I will make you that. Okay, sir, I will make you that. Just wait. Uh, we gotta put, since because this is, um, like, you know, if we built through that, it would be, you know, the next floor. We're only gonna put our registers right here instead this time, instead of down one, because we can't do that. It's not, you know, built into the ground, like most stores are, the way I do it. But there you go. And, uh, let's grab some fence posts. Hey, I'll go like that. That's even about right. Can the customer reach in though? Can they? Yes, they can. So let's actually make this off center, which will bug people's OCD, but not all the time do you need to have symmetry. Sometimes you just need to break away from the symmetry, okay? Sometimes imperfections are perfect. So let's go ahead and leave it like that. And, you know, they can't reach and get in this register and steal things. So that's good. Now let's make, uh, you know, let me go make your flowers for you. So. They come back here, and we want to actually go across into this tower right here. Um, we're going to do a door like this, a diagonal door. Get rid of that one so we can do that. And there we go. Can we do a pressure plate? Will it fit? Yes, it will. All right, and then let's grab the stone slab. I'm going to go across and make a little walkway here. Right. Going across. We're going to go diagonally. This is going to be a cool little diagonal one going across. And there's going to be another doorway here of double dark doors going in. Hold on. Where are the double dark doors? Give me them. Go like this. Uh, go that one first and like that. There you go. Alright. And now let's put the, uh, the pressure plates. And can we put one? Yes, we can put one outside. That's good. Yay. Look, you can just walk back and forth. You know. Oh, let me go get the... Okay, I made it. Let me go deliver it to the customer. Oh, wait. We need to finish this uh, <laughs> this little platform first, so let's go like this. Now to make a little like a little bit of a border, so you don't just walk straight off by accident. You have something to hold you for a second, like that. This cool little diagonal one. Um, there you go. And that's how that's gonna go. So uh, you know, walk back and forth, just testing it a little bit. Yeah, this looks nice. All right, um, one more time. I'm not gonna walk on these diagonal ones. I'm oh, I am. Uh, that's okay, just leave it. Uh, you know, if you just walk a perfect trajectory, then you're good. Uh, let's go ahead and update this building a little bit because it's a little um, 
pre-modern. It's a little pre-2087. It doesn't have sea lanterns for electricity, and those save a lot more electricity than uh, glowstone does, because glowstone is less efficient. Now let's go ahead and do the gold pressure plates for wealthiness, and we'll do the floor above, because we can still see the glowstone above. So let's change this glowstone to sea lanterns. Here we go, because sea lanterns are so 2087 in the future. Um, definitely not, you know, glowstones are so 1941, so let's not do that option. And I'm getting messages ahoy. Can you leave me alone, please? Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to be ugly. All right. Um, we're going to do with the workstations here where people can craft the, like, bouquets of flowers, which, of course, in Minecraft, you can't really craft, but with the, um, with the little, you know, what are these called again? Hey, 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 what are they called? Little, um, fuck, I forgot what they're called. Anvils. With the anvil, you can just rename a, a one flower and be like, for my bay or something like that. <laughs> you can rename it for my bay or you can rename it, um, roses are red. <laughs> and you can get, uh, there's no violets, but you can do like a pink tulip and be like, violets are blue. You're a hoe, my pussies for you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, we can do that. So let's go ahead and make this storage area now. We're going to make a storage area in here. And we're going to leave these bookshelves here because maybe we'll do like shelves of like flowers and stuff like that. You know, it can look like that, but it can also look like uh, shelves of like books with information on like flowers for the people who work here just, just to randomly study them and know everything there is about flowers. Um, because why not? If you work somewhere, you might as well just get into it instead of just like work there, get your paycheck and leave. Like that's so freaking lame. Work there. Like, actually work. Be there. Don't let that block out of your mind. That's, that's just no. Even if you work at somewhere shitty like McDonald's, still, keep that as a memory for your life. Be like, oh, I worked at this nasty place. They had rats cooking with the fries. It was, like, gross. Um, so let's go ahead and make that kind of opposite. So that's going to be on this side and that side. And like that to make it opposite. Right? Yep. Okay. Okay. And, uh, let's see, do we want to do anything in the middle here? Do we just want it so you can go in between each one and build and craft when you need to with flowers? Yep, we're good. Um, nice. Okay, so this is this work area here. Do I want to add a little bit more? Do I, is there something I can add? I'm not really sure. Uh, let's go in here now. And, uh, you know, you give them your stuff, they pay it. But now let's go ahead and add like displays. I want to add displays for like flowers so you can see what kinds of things you can buy from the shop. You're like, oh wow, that looks cool. I want that. And we're going to have everything from the regular fucking, the, the vanilla Minecraft flowers to the new update flowers to um, the unorthodox flowers that people would never really get. Like, why would you buy that? Like a cactus? Why would you buy a cactus? I actually saw a cute ass little cactus at a, a surprisingly Home Depot has them. And uh, they have these cute little cactus plants and these tiny little pots that look just like the Minecraft pots. And, uh, yeah, so you can't really go touch the display, but you can see it behind the glass. It's for looking only. You can't touch the flowers. They'll die. Only the only the employees can touch the flowers. Um, so, yeah, we'll do this design. And um, the way we'll... Like, Home Depot was selling cactuses, but the, what was cool about them... Here's the cat. Is that they were, like, different colors. There was, like, a red, a blue cactus, a... Um, an orange cactus. I was like, how do you get different color cactuses? What I'm thinking is, uh, they probably let it grow, and they, like, watered it with, like, a, a water that was, like, food dyed, you know? And I bet you it soaked up the water and turned the same color also, because I think there was an experiment when I was a little kid that you can do that, too. You know, you pick a flower, put it in a, uh, a vase of water, and then just, like, spray some food dye in there, and it'll, like, suck up the water, and it also changed the, the stem, or the flow or whatever it's called, I forget, uh, different colors. And I was like, whoa, I think that was an experiment. Well, I, am I kidding? Am, am I dreaming? No, I'm pretty sure I did that when I was a kid. Didn't I? That was a project we did for science. I know we did. Because, you know, little kids, sometimes they bring home a little plant for, like, the science part of their class. Where they're like, okay, take this plant home, go take care of it, go water it, and give it sun, and figure out how it works, you know. <laughs> Mine only grew really small and then died. Like, what was the point of that? Recently, my little cousin had one, and hers grew fucking tall as fuck. I was like, what? <laughs> How come mine could have been like that? Wow. But anyways, 
enough of a side story. Here we are, we're finishing the display area, so yeah, I figured out we're gonna do these little slime blocks as like, you know, looks, and then we're gonna put the flower pots on top. We don't really need that uh, stone slab, I don't know why I grabbed it. And let's go ahead and, so we have the white tulip here, and then the pink tulip there. Then we're gonna start continuing, we're out of the tulips, right? That was the pink tulip. Yeah, that's the pink tulip. Okay, oxide daisy. Uh, can we put a sunflower down on a lilac? I'm not sure. Let's test those out for now. Let me see what we can put down. So yeah, yes, no, no. Okay, I wish you could. That'd be pretty cool to have a little sunflower. But uh, let's see. I don't think we can do the tall plants, which are these ones. We can do mushrooms. A little bit of the unorthodox ones that people will want decorating the house. I don't know why. There you go. We can do a cactus. And we can do... They should give the cactus like little arms to sprout on the side. That'd be cute. Instead of just being a square little rectangle thing. Alright. Um... Now let's do um, an area for the, the trees, because trees are also, you can put these in plants, in the pots. So they look really cool. So let's actually make some little side ones. Maybe let's not block these ones off, because it'll be too much blocking off. And, uh, um, so it, these ones people can touch, but you know, if they fuck it up, then just get the hell out of the store. I hate when, you know, little kids mess with things in the store. I'm like, did your mom tell you to touch that? No, so get away. Like, you know, they go to the condiment stand area of my job. And, you know, freaking throw salt packets and rip up straws and everywhere. And, like, really? Go with your mom right now before I hit you. Like, <laughs> you're annoying. Before I kick you across the restaurant. Um, let's build this in. With those two trees. The jungle. There you go. And then we got two more trees, which I think will be perfect. Because we can find somewhere else. There you go. Look, behind the elevator, we can symmetrically place them right here. And then the last two, there you go. Let's throw those out and uh, that. And we can make like a little like a bench where you can sit right here while you're waiting for your pack. Like, what if there's like a long line? Because this population's gonna be like 100 million one day, so it's gonna be pretty busy, the city. So um, we gotta make, you know, we gotta know, we think about the future, about lines and shit. So people, there'll be a lot of people waiting for, especially a Valentine Day. Oh my god. You should see, like, Safeway or, like, places like that that, like, also do flower, flowers and bouquets like this. They're like, I'm sorry, you have to make an appointment. I'm like, what the fuck? You can't just grab and buy a flower, like, wet. Like, if you're gonna make a beautiful ass bouquet, and also for prom, when you're gonna, like, make a corsage, um, a corsage or whatever, you have to order that shit so they can build it for you. I'm like, really? You're just using hot glue and putting together flowers. I can do that at home. <laughs> Shut up. Anyways, let's finish off with this last little thing to light up this dark area right here in front of the elevator with this cool little design. People can read a little catalog of flowers, and that's it. So, guys, that's it for this episode. This is the flower shop. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. I hope you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you let someone else know about the channel. And uh, I will see you in the next video that we create. Goodbye, elites. Goodbye.